Alrighty guys, I have a lot of terracotta pots and a lot of plants I would like to put into them. Let's get her going. We'll go for this one. I'm really excited about this little guy. This is my brand new Philodendron Moonlight. It's got some beautiful variegation. Um, and this leaf is coming in like watered down lime juice. It's so pretty. And his roots are kind of going crazy At in the there. nursery when I was, when I found that, he um, actually was like, I don't Okay, you have to tell me how much this giant regal shield is. I put it on my Instagram stories. It was gorgeous. Um, so gorgeous. There was that and a philodendron black cardinal. I was like, you have to tell me how much it was. So it's a big piece of pumice. The, the regal shield alocasia was 120 freaking dollars. I mean, it was massive and like, I'm sure, woo, I'm sure it was, you know, a wishless plant, you know, for me at the very least. I'm gonna get rid of some of that old ass looking soil because that looks basically crispy in there. Um, anyway, so I told the guys like, I really wish you guys carried more philodendrons because their house plant selection is pretty small for, you know, San Francisco where not a lot of people have yards. Oh, like I was saying, he's like, well, have you seen a philodendron moonlight? And I was like, no, but I want to. He's like, we just got these in today. And I immediately fell in love. I had to have one, even though I'd already bought like all them rich people want to buy at least five plants. plants for their yards today. Um, yeah. And yeah. look at those roots guys. Like, wow, no, I might have a problem. Set alone in there. He's gonna need a nice good drink of water, which I'm gonna do at the end of this video. Otherwise, it will literally take three years. I'm really excited about all those air roots because that means this little guy is gonna be more plants. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And he's gonna get nice and big and strong. <sighs> so my mom always had houseplants when I was a little kid. And so far I'm the only one she didn't kill. Cuties. But if you saw my oh, last couple I videos, need some sun on this. We have been shopping like crazy people together. Probably outstripped her. Do this little fern next. I don't know what I'm doing over there because my arms are not that long. trying not to dump dirt all over the plant so I don't make a huge mess, but we just have to admit to ourselves sometimes we're messy people. Do you guys like I mean, a chattier repot like, We like cleaning dirt. I don't remember if I put soil in this or not. All you gotta do is clean up by yourself later, right? Oh. Yeah, I think I like the different bakias in the gray. We're gonna give it a go. It was at the nursery, I think, right? Yeah, comment nursery. Thing, um, like crazy people together <laughs> and, and separately. I was saying in my earlier video, it's and not and popping out of the bottom of the her collection is almost as big as mine. A little root bound. Although my boyfriend is like shopping with me today, there. not my mom. And if you know me, I'm so. always tempted to root divide plants, but. 
think this pot will be too big for just one piece. So we're just gonna get rid of the old soil that the plant basically ate. Um, and if you guys have pets or little kids, be really careful with Dif Diffenbachias, AKA dumb cane. They are very toxic. They will make your throat close up until you cannot talk. Apparently, uh, I was watching Plantarina talk about them. Apparently they used to be like used as torture plants, like the toxins in it. So. Um, nice healthy roots. Yeah, just very this healthy. Diffenbachia. I... I think this is going to be really nice. I have mostly white pots, but my Diffenbachias, I think I like them in gray. The other one's in gray too. Put a screenshot in there of it. Um, I do have one in pink, but not my favorite color pink. And that one's been vanished to the top of the fridge for for now. Not because I don't like it, but I just didn't have anywhere else to put it at the time, and that's where I decided it lives. I guess. How many plants are in this? Yeah, I think that looks nice. This used to have an orchid that my boyfriend got me. I'm not good with orchids. I don't think I'm really good with flowering plants. I think just, we don't vibe, I guess. So, I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but I trust her, she's very smart. Next up is this Tenanthi, which I both have part of this plant. She just happened to give me more of it. work perfectly as humidifiers for your plants. You just don't add the essential oils. There's at least two really good sized canes, maybe um, three. For this guy. And Technically, this isn't root division, except the roots are tangled AF. Um, I'm just going to gently try to work them apart without doing damage. I don't know. It's going to work out that way or not. But, you know, that's okay. You don't have to like all plants. Just like you don't have to like all wine. I mean... Some people think they don't like white wine. Some people think they don't like red wine. I'm so glad I decided to record these. They're wrong. They just haven't tried the right ones. I don't like but you don't system. have to like doing plants uh, like this. I'm like it's a cheating link. Just grow your plants big. You, you might, might have seen in my last second to last. Start itching. Um, she gave me more of it because she separated this one. The only one I separated was the Orbifolia. Still can't believe I gave her part of that. It's so freaking cute. And of course it's got crispy Mom, leaves watching this. Check out your plants and cap water, even if it is hedge hedge it's happy and in a big enough pot. Um, but I also bought a couple of little humidifiers. Like well, they're oil you diffusers that, see, look at that nonsense. And there were three pot plants stuffed into this one little pot. Or you can. I don't know if it affects the plants. Um, see, so this guy yeah. has two canes, <coughs> a little more or whatever you call these guys. I'm going to put them... I have two of these pots. I have two of these plants. Math? <coughs> Big math.
We're both going to be like about there. Okay. We're fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well then. This one. Not big enough. Maybe I'll just have to use that for me to be a spider plant. It's going to work out that way or not. When I did the orbifolia, I'm I used the not to get knife. dirt in my wine. But you know, as far as I know, you're but supposed to use a serrated want. knife, so. Technically, that's serrated. And it came apart like nothing. Like, like it didn't even want to be attached. So don't judge me. run out of soil actually so we're gonna pause here for the evening and thank you for watching me repot so many plants let's see we did one two three four five six seven On the other hand, I do I like enjoyed being able to root divide them. If you did, please give this video and a thumbs up. Separate if them. You didn't. And just please tell end me up why with more plants. It's like a bonus. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm a hypocrite. Y'all do you. Okay? One other thing. Do you. Okay. I'm gonna have to cut some of this out, aren't I? Been way too long. Oh my gosh. Happy for that so one. So tangled. Um, and of course, thank you to my mom and my boyfriend for going plant shopping with me. Oh, and to my best friend Liz, who also goes plant shopping with me. I love you guys. You're the best. And thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Do all the things. I love you guys.